Friends, PHP session is very useful to track users' activities when user logs into an application. Today I am going to show you how you can use PHP session to display the user name on top of the screen after a successful login. Here you can see this is a very small application. When the user logged in into this system, it is displaying welcome test user, which means user is logged in and it is displaying the username test user and there is a logout option. So this shows that user is logged in into the system. Now if I click on logout, you can see it is no longer showing the username or logout. Now it is showing login. So it shows that user has logged out of the system. If I click on login, its login form is displayed and let me log in here. So now again it is showing the username, welcome test user, log out, but it's not showing login. So using PHP session, you can determine whether user has logged in or not. And if user is logged in, you can display the username and log out, otherwise you display login. So let me show you quickly how we can do this using PHP and MySQL. I have created a folder called user under htdocs. And within that user folder, these are the minimum folders and files so far I have created. So if I open this in Visual Studio Code, so CFG folder, we have dbconnect.php. So this is just to connect to a demo database. There is a top menu.php just created for the menu only. So this is just an HTML file with a menu verb. You can see bootstrap 5 is used here and there's a custom style used just for the menu only. There is a font or some library and jQuery library is also added here. If you see in the menu, so this is very simple menu. We are using home login and logout as menu items. So if you run it now, localhost and then you have to give user, then top menu.php. So you can see it is displaying the menu home login and logout. If I click any, nothing is happening because we have not added any code yet. So for the database, let us just see, we are using users table. This is the table that we will be using and we'll use email ID and password to log in into the system. I am inserting one row in this table just for testing purpose only. So email ID is test at test.com username is test user and password is this. This is just a MD5 hash of 123. So our password will be 123. So let me just create this table. We'll use phpMyAdmin SQL window to create the table. So the table is created and row is inserted in this table. We'll just add a home page here. So we'll create new file. So we create an index.php, just an h1 only and we included top menu.php. So if I run it now, so I just give localhost user. So it is showing the home page. Now in the top menu, we'll use index.php for home page. So we'll just add a little bit of CSS here. So this is my homepage just to show you. So now let us create a login form here. We'll create a new file. We'll include top menu.php first. Let us create the form. So 
So we'll create email ID and password as the fields and we'll have a submit button. Now we'll add a password field. So we have created the form. If you see topmem.php, I need to close the body and the HTML. Now let us change the top menu here. Add login.php. Let me run it now. Click on login. So it says login.php not found. So let me just see. You can see the login.php is created in CSS folder. So let, let us just move it outside. Now let us run it. So it is showing the login form now. Let me just quickly add few CSS here. So we'll add a class here. We'll reduce the width of the form. If we refresh it now, okay, so let us give some padding and margin. This looks better. Let us reduce the width a little bit. Let us add a heading also. Go to login. So let us now write PHP code when the form is submitted. So here we'll take the values of email ID and password from the form. And with those values, we'll check with the database. If the values are correct, we'll let the user login. Otherwise, we'll give invalid user ID password. We have the submit button name is submit. So we'll just check if form is submitted. So we'll just create MD5 hash of the password and then we'll check with the database. You see dbconnect.php, our connection object is $conn. So we are using it here for the prepare statement. And then you bind the parameters here, email ID and password. So we had these are all string. So we'll give SS. So we are just executing the statement and checking whether the number of rows greater than zero. If it is greater than zero, then we are fetching the values in dollar row array and we'll just get the name and email in the session variable. Once we get the values in the session, we'll just redirect the user to the home page. So we are redirecting the user uh, to the home page after successful login. We'll just add an else statement here with error message. Now we have to add another else here if the statement does not get executed properly. So here we just add another else. All we have to do is just start the session here and also initialize the variables and dollar email and uh, error message now you will use this email in our form so let us now update the top menu 
because we have the session variable available now so we'll display login and logout based on the session variable so let me just add code here so if user is logged in we want to show the logout so let me just put it here so you can see we are using the session name so if it is set that means user is logged in so we want to show the logout otherwise we will show login and we want to display the user name also and now let us write the code for logout also because once we log in we need to log out so we'll create a new file logout.php so we are starting the session then unsetting all the session variables deleting the session and then redirecting the user to the home page so let us now refresh and see how it is working you click on login test at test.com password 123 so it looks like it's not working it's showing the login again it's not showing logout or user name so we have some problem here so let us just see uh we have used the session variable here that looks fine so all we have to do here we have need to add the session start here now if you see in the login.php we have already session start we have used and at the same time we have used top menu.php so you don't need this anymore so let us remove this and now let us try so refresh it we logged in and it is actually user is logged in so it is now showing logout and username so we click on logout so it is showing login now and we don't see username and logout anymore so we just need to add some css here just to display them in a better way so if we click on login again test at test.com so it is showing now logout and test user so we'll just add some css here we need to show logout on the right side and user name also on the right side so we'll just add some classes here so let us just add a div here okay now it is fine so we'll display test user also on the right side to we'll add the same class here this is the name so test user is displayed here we'll just let us just align it and give some color let us add a class called user here and we'll add that in our style.css so white color and give some padding here so let us change that to 18 px and also we'll add welcome here before the user we'll add welcome so now we can see it is displaying welcome test user and logout so if i click on logout now it is no longer showing user name and logout now it is showing login only if i click on login and login again so it is fine now log out okay so this is working fine so at the end i just want to show you an additional feature here we want to show the active menu item so if i select home home should be active if i select login login should be active we just want to add some jquery script here 
to show the active menu item. In top menu.php, we have ID home and for login we have ID login. So we'll use this. So we'll use this ID to add some jQuery script. So let us go to index.php. Here we need to close the body and HTML. So we'll just add active class here. We already have the styles added for this active class in style.css. Here it is. So background color and color added for this active class. So if we run it now, see home is selected. For login we have not added code. So let us add code for login also. We will just copy it. So if you refresh now, so login is now selected. So this way we can show active menu items which is selected. You can use this PHP session in many different places to know if the user has logged in to the system or not. You can visit the website codehowto.com to download the source code. You don't need to sign up and there are many other topics related to PHP development. You can go through them if you are interested. I have given all the related links in the video description. To watch more videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.